dinner money. Well, like it, it is dinner money because we are so vastly underpaid because Steve is like a total douchebag who doesn't own a credit card machine and is like totally sketchy anyway with his finances, basically has like no idea how to run a movie theater. So it like is dinner money because eight twenty five an hour is not enough to live on. It's like, it's like a, like an employee tradition. Roberto, the guy who worked here before me, he told me about it, and the people who worked here before him told him about it. So, how do you really feel about this? How does your character really feel? Uh, we need it. That you think it's fine? Mm hmm Right, and you've got to convince her that it's fine. You've got to get her to feel about it the way you feel about it. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I was feeling a lot of guilt from you and worry. It was sort of like, couldn't you please? Oh my God, please. No, you've got, look, <laughs> it's nothing. What we're doing is nothing. It's totally, what's your first line? It's dinner money. Say, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's, just, it's dinner money. Because you've talked everybody else into it, haven't you? Yeah, it's just been a thing forever. So you can't worry about it. Yeah, I guess that's a great point. I've never even realized this. I'm, I'm worried that that she won't agree. Okay, that, that's a big change, okay? You'll do something else to her if she doesn't. You'll, if yeah. you have to tie her up and gag her, you will, right? Okay, I see, yeah. I think I was sort of at the end, like I, the, the guilt is like the last tactic that I have, so I really like lay it on. What I'm saying is I want to make sure you don't have any guilt. If right. the guilt is for her messing it up for everybody, right? But okay, you have yeah, no sure. guilt. You have no guilt about doing any of this. This is interesting. I've been thinking that I don't want her to think that I'm mean. Like, I want her to think that I'm totally chill and cool and nice. And okay, I think that's changing up your objective. What you want is for her to do what you want her to do. And I don't think you give a shit what she thinks about you because you're willing to do just about anything. You're going to try to be, your first tactic is to be very nice mm -hmm. and a really nice girl, but you're not a really nice girl. What you want overall is just for her to shut the fuck up and do what she's supposed to do, right? Yep. That's what you want. And you're going to start off trying to be nice about it. And then you're going to actually work your way into, you, got, you have no choice on this. You've got to do it. Mm -hmm. Or somebody's going to kill you. You know, you just have to be close to that. You know what I'm saying? You're a criminal. Yep. You're like a drug pusher. Don't worry. It's just one little taste. Yeah. Okay. It's dinner money. So, well, okay. Like so, Chelsea, right now I'm getting, it's dinner money. Mm -hmm. it's, see, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Yeah, it's totally fine. What are you even worried yeah. about? There you go. There you go. Yeah. When you're talking about we are totally underpaid, it's like make it her. We're totally under, 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 underpaid. Oh, right. It's like you're worth so much more than this. Like, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Make it about her. So, yeah, I see. It's less the, the poor me, poor us, and yes, more poor about you. Poor yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, like, it is dinner money because we are so vastly underpaid. Say, can you live on that, honey? Can you live on eight twenty-five an hour, hun? I don't think so. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> there you it's like a, I'm just saying, like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. It's like a like an employee tradition. The guy. Hey, that's a whole new thing now. Now we've got into. It's like family Thanksgiving. Yeah. It's the family to do. It's like an employee tradition. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> we are really upholding. Okay. Um, just a little note that passed through my mind that you didn't really have anything specific you meant about douchebag. Is that, uh -huh. let's say, let's say he, com he comes on to young teenage girls that walk in the theater. Yes. So I, that's what I was thinking at first, but then I was trying to remove like the poor me out of it. it poor, you're not a teenage girl, so. I think, that, yeah, I'm, I'm, okay, I'll make it that he hits on other people. 13-year-olds, okay? Yeah. Okay. okay. 
okay. he's like saying, hey, honey, that's a nice dress. You know, he's saying that stuff to them. And, he, and what do you mean by he doesn't know how to run a movie theater? What, what do you mean by that? Because we do everything. He's, he doesn't. And he, it, let's say some big mistakes that he makes. Like the soda machines are really nasty and we're the ones that have to clean him out. Like, so just really thinking about all those different things that he is. You know, mm-hmm. he's always coming on to these teenage girls. Everyone's got to pay cash. Right. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, the movies he shows, I mean, he's just oblivious to what people want to see. So mm-hmm. you got to really think about all those things. Okay. Because Steve is like a total douchebag who doesn't own a credit card machine and is like totally sketchy anyway with his finances, basically has like no idea how to run a movie theater. So like... It is dinner money because eight twenty five an hour is not enough to live on. It's like it's like an employee tradition. Oh, let's really warm that up. Okay. It's like an employee tra- and Roberto, he told me about it. It's kind of like people passing on the the golden wand, you know, to the next generation. So like it is dinner money because eight twenty five an hour is not enough to live on. It's like, it's like an employee tradition. So Roberto, the guy who trained me, he told me about it. And the people who worked here before him told him about it. And basically like no one's ever been caught or even been like close to being caught. Yeah, I think what a thing I'm realizing about this is that I have been like feeling and showing a lot of vulnerability. Yeah, you're, you don't care about her. Except that you want her to go along. And I don't, yeah, I don't need her validation. No, no, no. You you know, you know, like all all of your feelings are to get her to feel like Roberto. He was like the sweet old guy. He's retired now, but you know, he passed it on. Uh, It's all fake, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because 825 an hour is not enough to live on. No, I want you to kind of ask her if that's true. I mean, it's not enough to live on, right? Mm-hmm. Like, not, is it? Like, am I right? 8.25 yeah. an hour yeah. is not enough to live on. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. So, like, it is dinner money. Because 8.25 an hour is not enough to live on. It's like, like, a, like an employee tradition. <laughs> Roberto, the guy who trained me, he told me about it. And the people who worked here before him told him about it. And like, basically no one's ever been caught or even been like close to being caught. Yeah, it's not even close, not even close. I mean, what does that mean? Like not even, even a slight suspicion. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> There's no danger. There's no, never even a hint of danger. No one's ever been caught or even been like close to being caught. Cause Steve is like, he's an, idiot he can like suck my dick let's let's try to get her see if we can get her on your side with that suck my dick part like like and you know what you should say to him suck my dick you know ah, an idiot. yeah you know? yeah yeah you suck my dick say it let's say it together all right okay. yeah oh my yeah. god you're so bright i was that was like totally to myself self-indulgent before yeah. okay uh because steve steve is like he's an idiot Like, he can, like, suck my dick. And you know what? It is not up to you to decide. Okay, this is a huge switch of a tactic, isn't it? Yeah, this is where I stop caring what she, if she thinks I'm nice. Yeah, and that, but you're letting her know, you know, this is not up to you. You can fight it all you want right now, but it's going to happen anyway, and you're going to have to. Um, Yeah, you start to get more powerful yes right yeah yeah it's more i'm like taking over her you're, you become the gangster you're gonna say i'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. and I, I think it, more than her not caring what i think about what she thinks about me it's more that i want her now to think i'm like tough and yeah you're threatening her it's, yes it's it's like intimidating yes yeah okay um And you know what? It's not up to you to decide. See, I don't think of it as Steve's money. 
Steve is like a compulsive gambler who doesn't pay child support. Now he has like five kids somewhere in like Maine and his ex-wife is always taking him to court. Like, you know, cause you know what? Steve is a bad guy and you are promoting that. You're promoting a person that doesn't pay his child support. Yes, yes, thank you. It's her yes. fault. We can't let you promote him being a bad guy. Mm -hmm. We just can't let you do that because he doesn't pay his child support. And if you don't go along with it, it'll be your fault. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Steve is like a compulsive gambler who doesn't pay child support. Like he has like five kids somewhere in like Maine and his ex-wife is always taking him to court. Listen, Avery, I don't want to put you in like a crappy position. I don't want to be like a total cunt about this. But if Sam and I are doing this, and if you're not, it's like not fair to anybody. Like it's like really bad for like everybody involved. I would say the next thing that you would probably say is don't turn your back on any of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What you're about to say is I would I would worry for your life if you don't do this, right? It's not good for anyone, including you. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Can I try it? How's that time? feeling? Yeah. It's yeah. feeling Let's really take good. The, take, take it from the top. It's dinner money. So like it is dinner money because we are so vastly underpaid and because Steve is a total douchebag who like doesn't own a credit card machine and is like totally sketchy anyway with his finances and basically has like no idea how to run a movie theater. So like it is dinner money because eight twenty five dollars an hour is not enough to live on. It's like, it's like an employee tradition. Like Roberto, the guy who trained me, he told me about it and people who worked here before him told him about it. And basically like no one's ever been caught or even been like close to being caught. Because Steve is like, he's an idiot. Like he can like suck my dick. And you know what? It's not really up to you to decide. See? I don't think of it as Steve's money. Steve is like a compulsive gambler who doesn't pay child support. Like he has like five kids somewhere in like Maine and his ex-wife is always taking him to court. Listen, Avery, I don't wanna be like a total cunt about this. I don't wanna put you in like a crappy position, but if Sam and I are doing this and if you're not, it's like not fair to anybody. Like it's like really bad for everybody involved. Good, good, good. I thought you were rushing a tiny bit. Yeah, I, I, I was rushing. Yeah, with each one you wanna do all you can. You know, and so that you really try that tactic all the way and then you see, oh, well, that's not working, better try this one. Yeah, I guess I'm afraid of overacting. It's not about pushing. It's yeah. just about thinking all the thoughts that we talked about, right? The way that you overact is by punching words with your body or your voice that don't have thought behind them. There's no way to overdo that, really. To think too hard. Yeah, right, right, right. But not... Not this way, you know, not with punching or doing too much. It's about just making those transitions and really working the words. Yeah, yes, yes. Take more time with what you're saying and what you're talking about. Yeah, that's all.